Hello, welcome or welcome back to Life on the French. Uh, today we are going to be taking the New York Times dialect quiz. Yes, I know it's been out forever. We have already taken it in the past, but every time it has led to some pretty interesting discussions and arguments <laughs> about who is right. Because there is a right way to say certain words, like tour. Like, no, it's tour. So I am from Indiana originally, outside of Chicago, in what's called the region. Um, so I'm on my I was on Chicago time, even though Indiana, the rest of it's on Eastern. Where are you from? I'm from Massachusetts, but you might not hear that typical Bostonian accent because I'm more west of Boston, so I'm not really core Boston. Um, yeah, don't really have a an accent from that, but I think they still detect some of my mannerisms. We'll see how well it does. Yeah. And the other thing that makes this challenging for the quiz is that we have been living outside of our home states for a long time. So I, I lived in Philadelphia for five years and then in New Jersey for two, two, I think. And Stan has been living in the same, the same Philadelphia for five years and New Jersey for two. Yeah. So. We've also caught ourselves picking up some of those accents and words. Call me. Yeah. You need something? He said that He said that the other day, and I, I nearly, <laughs> it, was, it was appalling. <laughs> it was appalling. Uh, but without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, first question. How would you address a group of two or more people? I would say... I would say uh, you guys. I think I would also say you guys. I've been doing y'all every once but in a I, while. But I've been doing y'all to be more inclusive. Yeah. But it's been like a conscious choice. When I grew up, it, everyone just said you guys to yeah. do a group of people. And I've trained myself out of it to be more inclusive. There are some on here that I certainly never say. You lot. Yeah. Yous. Yins? Other? <laughs> hey, <Yeah>. other! <laughs> yeah. Y'all. Y'all is fair, but yins? No. I would say I do you guys. I'd say you guys, too. That's what I grew up saying. So you do you guys as well? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. What do you call a small gray bug that curls up into a ball when it's such? We were just talking about this. Yeah. It's a roly-poly. Oh, mine's a pill bug. No, it's a roly-poly. Because they roll with pole. Yeah, but they they look like pills. I get where it comes from. Yeah, like what are the other ones? Roll a up bug. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. If you have rolled with pole as an option, roll up bug. It's not a fruit roll up. No. I know what the creature is, but have no word for it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Roly poly. Really popular in the south. Look at. Look at yeah. right here. That's yeah. me. They've got you pegged, basically. All right, let's do you. Pill bug. What? Oh, they. You. We have different questions at the same time. Oh. So. Bean. Okay. How do you pronounce this? Where have you been? Uh, with the vowel sound in sad. With the vowel sound in sick. Bin. Ben. Probably been. Say a couple of them. C bean bean is not one. Where do you see bean? C with the vowel sound. Oh, C. where? Oh, like where have you been? Where have you been? Yeah, no. yeah. Where have you been? Been sit. I think it's the sit one for me. It's versus set. Bet Ben. Ben. Yeah, yeah. So it would be sit. I would. Yeah. I would agree with you on that. So I think maybe. Maybe because we have to do, they're not at the same time. We'll do mine we'll all do the yours. way through, yeah, and yeah. then we'll do. You'll take yours, right? But we can debate on mine, and then we'll do the. Yeah, right. Okay, right. that's what we're gonna do now. <laughs> we thought they were gonna be the same quiz. Yeah, but they aren't. Okay, what do you call an easy high school uh, or college class? 
A blow off. Well, I've never heard any of these. Gut? A crypt course. A bird? <laughs> Meat? <laughs> I would say blow off. Like you blow something you off. You blow it off. Yeah. It's a I blow just, off class. That's the one that I would say would be the closest. I'm trying to think of what I would call it. Like a coast. I, co you can coast in the class. I would never say have a word for the class specifically, but what you do in the class would be something like coasting. I, w I would say I I've used blow off. I don't use it often. Right. Um, but maybe I just haven't taken that many blow off classes. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, flex. It's either a flex or I'm just really dumb. <laughs> it's one of the two. They're all, they're they're all, hard. all challenging for me. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Look <laughs> at this little diagonal yeah. stripe. What is that? The, the blow off belt. Yep. Not the Bible belt. The blow off, off belt. belt. <laughs> what would you call a sale of unwanted items on your porch in your yard, etc.? A garage sale. Yard is what... sale, I would say, too. Um, yeah, I've, I've heard yard sale, but garage sale. I've also heard rummage sale. Um, Carport sale. <laughs> <laughs> That's so specific of a type of garage. <laughs> I love to. Have you called a car, a garage, a carport before? No, it's a specific type of thing. Is it? Oh. So a carport is like, um, in my mind, yeah. it's a garage that doesn't have a door. Oh, you okay. like pull under it. Okay. That's a carport. It's like a little house for the car. Okay. Okay. I never knew that word. No, you've never heard of it? No. No, it's a type of garage. Okay. All right. Cool. You learn something new. A car boot sale. Car They're just in the sale. trunk. Jumble sale. <laughs> patio. Pat. Who's going on somebody's like back patio to like go garage sailing? Well, you, you can have the front patio. Uh, maybe. Right. I don't know. So to me, like the correct options would be garage sale, then yard sale, then rummage sale. And I feel like yard sale is growing in popularity. Yeah. And I see yard sale here. There's a lot of yard sale here. You don't see yeah. garage sale. I see I both yard sale and garage sale a lot. So I, I would say now more so yard sale would be my choice. Yeah, garage, look at me right yeah. there. Where is it popular? Where I am? <laughs> the Midwest has not left me. <laughs> okay, how do you pronounce ant? Like ant. <laughs> what are the other options though? Aunt. Aunt. Caught. So, aunt. 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 The same vowel on a, caught, and ant. None of those are the same nope. for me, so I don't know what it's talking about. Aunt. Caught. Ah. Uh, that's it. Ah. Uh, caught. Caught. Uh, aunt. Aunt. To yeah. sound like ain't. Ain't. I use ah when referring to the general concept of an aunt, but I use aunt when I refer to a specific person by name. That is me. Yep. Really? They are really targeted me right there. But it's because in theater, I played a German guy who had to say aunt, and I was saying it in the Massachusetts way, aunt, and I got grilled on it, and ever since then, I use aunt instead for the general concept really yeah so that might just be a specific thing no i say i say ant and i say ant for everything and i realize it makes me sound dumb but it's ant like a bug <laughs> yep <laughs> <laughs> how do you pronounce uh caramel i would say two syllables yeah you definitely say it with two caramel i say three disgusting <laughs> caramel caramel you, you the way you say caramel is like chewing caramel it which makes sense which makes sense <laughs> uh what do you call something that is across both streets from you at an intersection or diagonally across from you in general catty corner i didn't have a word for this 
catty corner. It's catty corner. Right here. I've also Kitty heard... Kitty Wampus? <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite. Everybody in the chat, if your name There's is... There's no <laughs> chat. Everybody in the comments, if you use Kitty Wampus, let me know. I want to, I want to know if that actually if that's true like that people use kitty wampus yeah what other word what else Because catty wampus is a thing what's a wampus but you do you know catty wampus no so catty wampus is when something's all like off Con like off centered and stuff okay yeah. all right like things are catty wampus oh uh, yeah no okay yeah so kitty wampus is like a little bit off in that it's diagonal it's that, over there <laughs> <laughs> interesting so it's a little less popular where I'm from. If you look at this, it's yeah. blue. So where am I getting it from? Maybe my family? Maybe. My family's from southern Indiana. so Maybe, maybe the rest of the north doesn't have a word for it. And that's how Because I've absorbed kitty corner because I just didn't have anything for it. Kitty corner? But not Cat, catty. Catty corner. Whichever one. I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say, who are you around that says kitty corner? <laughs> Uh, what do you call the area of grass between the sidewalk and the road? I don't think I have a word for this. Parking. <laughs> <laughs> a berm parking tree lawn terrace. Definitely not a terrace. A no. curb strip? No. A beltway. Isn't the beltway? Isn't that a... Th the beltway is a thing. Yes. But it's like... Is it a road, it's right? It's like a highway, yeah. Yeah. Verge? Yeah, I have no word for this. I don't know what you would call this. Me neither. A yard. <laughs> yeah. Whoever's yard it belongs to. Well, no, it's the area between the sidewalk and the road. No, but to me... Oh, it's part of their it's yard. It's part of their yard. Right, right. But the city... D I had to do a project, and it would have been useful to have a word for this, because uh, I was working for the city at the time, and we were catalog cataloging trees and whether or not they needed to be, like, treated because there was, like, a, a disease killing trees in our area. And so the trees that are between the sidewalk and the street are owned by the city. So the city has to take care of the those trees. And so we had to mark down if they needed treatment or if they needed to be trimmed because they were an electrical wire. Um, or if they needed to be cut down because they were dead. But we didn't have a word for it, so they just always said, like, between the sidewalk and the street. But if there were a word, it would have been a little more clear. But I have no word for this. Yeah. Yeah, nobody has. Nobody. Just this, there's this one Ohio. little section. <laughs> the state of the cones. They have a word, of course. It's just related to road work. They have a word. Where do you put the cones? Right. Where do you store the cones when they are not on the highway? On the verge, of course. Right. What do you call the thing from which you might drink water in a school? Okay. I've been trying to remember what I call this. It's either a drinking fountain or a water fountain. I think it's a water fountain for me. Water fountain for me, too. But I don't know if that changed. Yeah. Like if I used to call it a drinking fountain and then changed to water fountain when I moved here because no one else was saying it. But to me, they're interchangeable and I would know what you're talking about. Let's see if I'm wrong. Yeah, that could be a Philly thing that you picked up. Yeah. Like it's a little bit here, but it's orange. Like to me, like maybe drink maybe drinking fountain was right. Uh, what do you call a traffic situation in which several roads meet in a circle? A roundabout. Well, do you agree? I used to say rotary. But roundabout is the new one for me. The rotary might be a Massachusetts thing. Mm. My GPS says traffic circle sometimes. Yes, that's true. And I wonder if that will pick up. Yeah. We'll get like some sort of global dialect because of companies. <gasps> Is it because they're big California based and that's where they say traffic circle? Maybe. Wow. Exit the traffic circle. Yeah. But sometimes it'll say roundabout still. At the roundabout. Take, Take a, a second, second exit. exit. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
Here we go. Look at that. Look at Indiana go up red. <laughs> what do you call the small freshwater lobster often found in lakes and streams? A crawdad. Crayfish. Crawdad. Mud bug. I've also heard crawfish and crayfish. Never crowfish. Yeah, I've never heard crawfish or just craw. <laughs> and I've never heard mud bug. That's the weirdest to me. Yeah, that's cute. But yeah, crawdad. Yeah, I'm not like my family. This that is clearly from my Southern Indiana family, because up here this is not similar at all. Right. I'm confusing the test, people. What do you call the night before Halloween? Uh, Gate night, trick night, mischief night, cabbage night, goosey night, devil's night, devil's eye. I have no word for this other. I have no word for this. I have no word for this. But I do know that in Michigan, it's uh, like either devil's night or devil's eve. It's one of these two. Because my friend uh, is from Michigan, and we took this quiz together, and he was like, it's this and i'm like i literally don't know what you're talking about and apparently it's its own celebration its own holiday like it's basically the teenagers halloween oh okay weird yeah never heard yeah, of it they just like cause mischief mischief night <laughs> uh how do you pronounce the second word of pajamas do i say pajamas i don't think i say pajamas i just said it now you when just I said read pajama it, but yeah. i really think i say pajamas yeah. Yeah, like jam. Jamma, 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 PJs. Unless it's a formal setting, apparently. It's like aunt and aunt with me. Yeah. In use? In in use, though, I say pajamas. Pajamas. Pa you say pajimi sometimes. <laughs> what? Pajimis. Give me my pajimis. That's just because I'm making... You. Me, yeah. <laughs> Not because I think that's how it's said. Yeah, jamas. Give me my pajamas. What do you call a traffic jam caused by drivers slowing down to look at an accident or other diversion on the side of the road? I would say rubbernecking is the activity. Same. I wouldn't say there's a word for the actual traffic jam. Other than g the traffic jam. Yeah. <laughs> I like gawk block, though. That was a good option. I'm wrong. <laughs> Why am I wrong? Weird. I guess I would say rubberneck. It's a rubberneck? I wouldn't say it's a rubberneck, but there's a rubberneck ahead. Okay. I'm, I'm messing up this quiz. How could I be so wrong about myself? <laughs> it's because I've moved too much. You're forgetting your roots. I'm forgetting my roots. <laughs> okay, what do you call a large motor vehicle used to carry freight? I would say a semi. Yeah. I mean, this would be, a semi truck would be formal, but a semi is what I would call it. For me, it's just truck, or I like using big rig whenever I think of it, but yeah. For you, it's just truck? It's just truck. No, truck is not a semi. <laughs> I guess that's closer to where I am. What the heck? What? This question. Oh, what do you call it when rain falls while the sun is shining? It's a sun shower. Yeah, uh, for me it's the devil is beating his wife. Is it? <laughs> no! <laughs> I've never heard that in my life! <laughs> I've heard that. Monkey's wedding. I've never heard Fox's that one. Fox's wedding. Pineapple rain. These are, this is the grooviest one. <laughs> the wolf is giving birth. The wolf is giving birth. It's oh. so long yeah. you know, to just say, hey, it's raining. The sun's out and it's yeah. raining. Look for rainbows. That's what I say. <laughs> Not the wolf is giving birth. Ah, you know, that devil's beating his wife. <laughs> there he goes again. And as a sun shower. Why am I wrong? Is that something I picked out from up here? It must be. 
But it's not even in yeah, Philadelphia, well, really. Yeah, it's just right here. That's Pennsylvania, right? I guess. Yeah. You zoom in on the map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. New Jersey and yeah. Pennsylvania and Philly. Yeah. yeah. So I picked it up while I was out here. What do you call a drive through liquor store? I don't have these. <laughs> they are now a thing because of COVID. But before COVID, they were not a thing where I was from. I'd only ever seen them in North Carolina when I visited. But no, they, they're not a thing in Massachusetts either. Okay. What do you call the rubber-soled shoes worn in gym class or for uh, athletic activity? This is the one we had the hardest time figuring out. figuring out because we hadn't taken the quiz yet together Yeah. when we first got together. And uh, I would say, can you give me my gym shoes? And he would not. I would say sneakers. And to me, those are different things. So he would say, can you get me my sneakers? And I would return with the wrong shoes because he would want his gym shoes. Right. And I would give him his sneakers. <laughs> Same with gym shoes. I have no clue what you're talking about with gym shoes. I'll show you. I, I feel like this is worth a demonstration, but it, it's gym shoes. The right answer is gym shoes. And I would say, let's see, let's look at the rest. I've heard tennis shoes before. I would know what someone is talking about. To me, gym shoes and tennis shoes kind of the same. Running shoes, to me, are like a specific type of gym shoes that are made for running. Same kind of thing with tennis shoes. They're like more specific than a gym shoe. Trainers, I would kind of think that's a gym shoe. But sneakers are not gym shoes. So let me, let me go demonstrate. Okay, gym shoe. Sneaker. Clearly not made for athletic wear. Sneaker. I would agree. That's a sneaker. Sneaker. Gym shoe. Sneakers. No, because you wouldn't wear this to work out in. No, but they're rubber soled shoes. They look the same. They're the same shoe. But a workout shoe is a gym shoe. This is a gym shoe. They all have the rubber soles. This has a rubber sole. This is a sneaker. Look, no one calls it gym shoes. Everyone is blue. And they're wrong. They're wrong. <laughs> How do you pronounce the first syllable of lawyer? It rhymes with boy. It's definitely not lawyer. That's very southern. Yeah. Lawyer? Yeah, okay. I can see that. Let's see. How do you pronounce... Oh, this is the one we were talking about. How do you pronounce bin? How have you been? I guess this. <laughs> I wish they had sin as right. an option instead of sit. Right. Because it's not really i. It's sin. Sin. Seen. They have, they have they S words. Right, yeah. they should have had the N. It would have made it easier, but I guess sit. What do you call the long sandwich that contains cold cuts, lettuce, and so on? Oh, I love this one because I used to work at Subway, and I got, um, when I was working there, we used to call them subs, whatever. Sure. But somebody came in and asked for a grinder, and I was like, what? Grinder? Like the app? <laughs> yeah. Well, the app didn't exist back then, but still, I didn't know. And then another day, someone comes in asking for a hoagie. I'm like, what in the world? And it's because I think Grinder is Vermont, and Hoagie is Philly. Philly and Delaware. And so in the middle, sometimes you'll get people passing through. That's crazy. Yeah, no, I would say uh, a sub. I would say a sub. Hero. I've seen Hero before, too. Yeah. But to me, that's... I don't know. Poor boy is a different type of food. So is an Italian sandwich. Yeah. To me. Uh, what do you call the area of grass in the middle of some streets? 
what neutral ground like it's a war <laughs> it's a war zone it's the neutral area um the maybe the median is that the grass though or just like the median the meat i would say the medians for highways I would say, no, you can have a median on a non-highway. Like, it's right. just whenever there's a physical blockade between your side of the road and another side of the road right, right. is the median. Right. I might say an island. It really depends on what the grass looks like. I wouldn't say an island ever. I'm going to go with median. But I, I could have no word for this. But if I had to pick a word, right. I would say the median. It would be median. It's going to put you in California. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Florida. <laughs> it's not going to know where I'm from. <laughs> do you call a big road on which you... What do you... Wow. <laughs> what do you call a big road on which you drive relatively fast? A highway. You said freeway sometimes. I, I don't think so. I would say highway. Expressway is different. Like, that's when you can go in the fast lane. A freeway is bigger than a highway. It's free... A freeway has limited, no stoplights, no intersections. A highway can have stoplights and intersections. No, they're all, to me, it's all, they're all a highway. But Turnpike would be like New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> We're on a Turnpike all the time. Oh, here we go. Another great one. How do you, okay. <laughs> How do you pronounce crayon? One syllable, crayon. 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 I picked the wrong answer. No. So are you this one or that one? Crayon. Cray crayon? Or is the middle one crayon? crayon? Crayon. Crayon. I think crayon would be the like rhymes with dawn. Dawn crayon, yeah. Yeah, same as me. What is the distinction between dinner and supper? Supper is an evening meal. Dinner is eaten earlier. Supper is an evening meal. Dinner is the main meal. Dinner takes place in a more formal setting than supper. There is no distinction. They both have the same meaning. I don't use the word supper. I don't use the word dinner. Okay, so my grandma would have an answer to this. Because she does use them differently. Um, and one of them... I think dinner is like the main meal and supper would be after. Ah. But since dinner is like usually the main meal, you don't use supper that often. Right. But personally, I pretty much only use dinner and I don't use supper. But. But there is a distinction. But to there, me, there's none. Dinner and supper are interchangeable. Yeah, to, to me... Like, I grew up with them being different. But not anymore. I bet you for young people, it's going to be gone. Right, right. Like, for me, it's n I'm not going to use it. But I understand there's a difference. Oh, they got you pegged. Yeah. <laughs> there's me. <laughs> Look at that. What is this? What is this orange? Why am I orange in the spot? I'm like <laughs> Indiana, but not where I'm from. <laughs> Maybe that's Chicago or something. Yeah, but I have. I, I think the ones I messed up, that's what threw me out of this specific area. Right. But yeah, here's Jasper's down here. You're not very Philly. No, I I but I did try to answer. With my past in mind. Right, right. So. You've never been to Rhode Island. People wouldn't even understand you if you went to Rhode Island. Yeah, they wouldn't know what I was saying. <laughs> totally different language. Same thing with Maine. Yeah. It's a miracle we were able to travel there. And then, uh, was that Louisiana? Mississippi? What's yeah. the... This is Louisiana. Louisiana, yeah. Do we know our states? <laughs> okay, really quickly, you take yours. 
Oh, yeah, they got me. New England. Maybe California. Maybe Hawaii. Hey. That's weird. Yeah, that is strange. I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> but I'm not from Louisiana. You're not from Indiana either. Look at yeah. We are, like, so different from each other. This is crazy. It's, yeah. no, it's no wonder that, like, we... I, that's why I enjoy taking the uh, test with Stan, because we have such different answers uh, on these questions. And it surprises me, because there's so many of them that are similar, where they have, like, just the North, like, highlighted. But then I think there are just some that are so polarizing. Yeah. Like gym shoe. Gym shoe. Sneakers. <laughs> Never heard of a gym shoe until I started and dating you. crayon annoys you to no end. Crayon. When I say crayon. Can you get the crayons? caramel too it's the same philosophy where are the syllables going if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of our content click subscribe ding that bell button to know when we post and most importantly i hope you have a wonderful day bye bye